Hey guys, it's Alex. So, the audio for this video is pretty messed up because Arsenal sounds are in it. So, I'm just trying to do this by memory. And you cannot hear my voice at all. So, on June 5th, 2019, I woke up feeling like I was very sick. <clears throat> and I could not walk at all. And there was ringing in my right ear. So... We I we thought it was not a lot at first, like a cold or ear infection. So we went to see this ear doctor. He's not really a doctor though because he didn't want me to get an MRI to see what was going on with my ear. He would do audiology tests. The ear wouldn't hear anything because it was infected with cancer cells. So literally the entire time I was at that doctor's office, we were just wasting more time and I could have gotten help. So I decided to go to my actual doctor's office. My actual hospital, we got an audi audiology test there. But that didn't do anything really. We then um, went back to that doctor and <clears throat> he said we were getting hearing aid. Kept me waiting for a while, never got the hearing aid, which was pretty crappy because I had my hopes up for getting one and told all my friends, like, I'm going to get a hearing aid, it's going to be pink, it's going to be really cool. Now I feel like I lied to all of them because I never got it. Um, so then, when they did MRI, I was literally rushed to the emergency, I was literally rushed to my hospital. And, yeah, there was a tumor growing. They did a biopsy. <clears throat> and it was contagious. It was bad. It was really bad. So, um, they did a surgery November 29th, I think, was my surgery. Or 27th. <clears throat> I forgot. It's been a year. Um... It was pretty big. It was 12 hours long. My mom just kept waiting for me. She didn't go anywhere. She just stayed 12 hours at the hospital. Just waiting for me to get out. And when I woke up, my my sister and my dad were there with McDonald's. I didn't want to eat, though. I should have ate that McDonald's because I never knew there was going to be a pandemic. <coughs> um, And then... I was just staying there for a while. I got my court place, I think, December 16th of that, 2019. And then I had my first chemo treatment there for my tumor. Not actually my first chemo treatment. I had that chemo, I've had chemo before. When I was two, because I had a tumor when I was two. And that's what this tumor is caused from, from the radiation of getting rid of that tumor in my neck as a two-year-old. Don't remember anything from that, though, because I was two. How am I supposed to know? But it was literally a month after my birthday when I was two. I got diagnosed with cancer a month, a, exactly a month right after my birthday, May 23rd. <clears throat> and... I, and so now, I came home in time for Christmas it, and Hanukkah. Of course, my friend, Parmise, who I very much appreciate, she's one of my friends at my, kind of my new school. I've been, I've been there since third grade, but she was, she's like one of my first friends I had there. And she surprised me with a Christmas gift on Christmas Eve. And we showed her the light, the menorah. And she's really nice. She's always giving her snacks at school. We play together. <laughs> Why am I getting into this? Anyways. <clears throat> then we moved on to the next one. I think we had 28 weeks of chemo treatment. So I ended July 9th. And 
lot of infusion chemos. I might have to get one that I swallow, like a pill. I know how to swallow pills in there. So, okay. I'm going to be stuck taking it forever, though. And now, um, I got a surgery September 1st. So, I recovered pretty quick. And then when I came home, I got a surprise. I got an iPad. Yay. Because I wanted an iPad for like a long time. And my dad got me one. <coughs> and that's all I really wanted. And he really got me an iPad. So then, after that, I started radiation treatment October 19th. <coughs> I end December 11th. Which is pretty soon. Yeah. But during my chemo treatment, I think in April, you had to start wearing a mask. And you had to risk your life every day to go to the hospital and get my treatment. I didn't stay there, though, because I started doing outpatient, which is you come home with a bag of fluids, you... You try to pee all the poop poo out, all the chemo out, because <clears throat> they want they don't want you to have it in your system because it's really toxic. If you have it in there, it's bad for you actually. It can it it doesn't. It's for it's good for the tumor. I mean, the it's bad for the tumor, so that means it. It will kill it, but it also makes you um, <clears throat> do stuff. So I had to take, like, a rescue med while I'm on it, like, Lucavorin. And I uh, finished that. I also get Docs. I also got Docs and Rubin, which was a two-day chemo. So, just, they access your port, <clears throat> infuse you with a chemo, not very long. You come, go, go home access, not with a bag of fluids, though. Then, you come back the next day, get it again. Then, they deaccess you. Then, they deaccess you. And then, you're really done after that. <clears throat> you can go home, do whatever. Um, I forgot to mention that for my surgery in November, they literally closed my ear canal on my right ear. So all the bones that were in my right ear are literally now, like, I think they're in Minnesota somewhere. Because they had cancer cells on them. So I really will never see in my right ear again. But... I think that's all I can really mention or say because I really don't know what else I, I why is this like actual video is 11 minutes long I have no idea what else I said but if you <clears throat> guys would like to know what I'm doing perfectly fine just just um I do radiation, blah, blah, blah. I'm all done. I get a break. Get to do Hanukkah, Christmas. Have a New Year's. And if this new chemo ever gets approved, I will probably start taking it. Um, it's like the pill one. I don't know when they're going to prove it, though. That was a real fight. But I'm going to take it. My doctor didn't want me to take it, but it's optional. I'm going to take it so I can live longer. Because I want to go to Japan. Bruh. Who doesn't want to go to Japan? So I'm going to take the chemo. If I can get it. And, yeah. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, Mer 
Happy New Year's and hope you have a great time, great day, great night, great life, great year. Well, 2020 hasn't been the best year for all of us. It's cursed. Every 10,000, 10 years, a new virus comes, and we are cursed. Uh, Okay, bye.